the creators of the internationally renowned electric unicycles that could tackle off-road trails with unprecedented ease have just announced an equally capable vehicle but on two wheels. InMotion RS is equipped with a dual-motor powertrain that is guaranteed to provide electrified sprints to speeds up to 68 miles per hour. Each 2-kilowatt motor is managed by a motorcycle-grade controller, generating 4.2 kilowatts of peak output and letting you climb hills with inclines up to 50%. The model is rolling on a set of 11 by 3.5 inch tires and features an adjustable suspension with front and rear hydraulic shock absorbers. The suspension has a variable ground clearance technology, meaning that the deck is dropped closer to the ground in the sports mode, while in the off-road conditions, the deck rises higher so you can clear obstacles with ease. The dual motor powertrain draws energy from a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery that could reportedly last between 75 and 100 miles in the lowest power setting. The battery pack supports fast charge with two charging units. However, in order to optimize this process and ensure battery health, InMotion have developed a special control app with a built-in battery balancing function. For the upcoming model years, the UK-based solar scooters are expanding their product offerings, introducing new features, and reaching out to new target audiences. Their latest product, Solar EQ, is dubbed as a supercruiser, meaning that it was specifically engineered to let you travel from A to B quickly and comfortably. The model features a chassis with minimal exposed parts and rugged components resistant to the daily wear and tear. A dual-motor powertrain makes Solar EQ the star of its class. It can generate 2,400 watts of output and push you to the top speed of 40 miles per hour. There is even a launch mode in case you need to race to your destination as quickly as possible. Besides awarding their model with a pretty strong powertrain, Solar Scooters paid great attention to suspension and brakes. The Super Cruiser received a quad suspension setup, consisting of hydraulic spring shocks in the front and a shock absorber in the rear. As for the braking, the dual disc brakes are there to provide enough stopping power, even for riders up to 330 pounds. Solar EQ has everything you need for urban riding – side lights, front and rear turn indicators, and even a folding mechanism, so you can easily hide it in the trunk of your car or an office storage unit. The extreme performance, versatility, and off-road prowess of Cabo e-scooters help this manufacturer gain international acclaim and a loyal fanbase. The company keeps on innovating and recently there have been rumors about their upcoming Wolf King GTR model. It is bound to become even faster and capable than its predecessor, Wolf King GT. While we wait for an official confirmation about this future model, let's not forget that Wolf King GT is still a great option to consider, even by modern standards. This standing scooter rocks a dual-motor powertrain with 4,000 watts of nominal output. The powertrain makes 7,200 watts of peak output, thus granting you the 62 mph speed capabilities and 330-pound carrying capacity. The range provided by a 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack with a moderate riding tempo is said to be about 90 miles, though real-world range indicators would be close to 60 miles. Wolfking GT is equipped with 11-inch tubeless self-repairing tires and an advanced suspension system with dual hydraulic shocks in the front and dual springs in the rear. The stopping power comes from hydraulic brakes, while the adjustable regen system is available too. If you don't have an official Cabo store in your region, check out such retailers as Fluid Freeride and Voro Motors that bring them to North America. In the automotive world, a Hyper label automatically adds a vehicle to the list of the most powerful and expensive models on sale. The London-based transportation company decided to use the same naming strategy to highlight the extraordinary nature of their electric stand-up scooter. The Dragonfly Hyper Scooter features an innovative construction with four wheels, a patent-pending full-tilt steering technology, and a convenient folding design. The model is brought into motion with a dual-motor powertrain that yields 1,650 watts of output 
and allows 25 mile per hour speeds. The scooter uses two mechanical rear drum brakes and two modulated electric brakes in the front to give you the ultimate control over the power output. The Dragonfly can cover 50 miles on a charge thanks to the 20 watt hour battery pack. The model ensures the comfort and safety of your trip by using a 4x2 traction control system, all wheel suspension, informative 4.5 inch 4K display, and full LED lighting with turn signals. The model is capable of carrying riders up to 350 pounds, while the overall scooter weight is just 39 pounds. Finally, if you'd like to use the Hyper Scooter beyond just carving down the city streets, there's a DFX model, specifically equipped for off-road use. Nami Electric Company needs no introduction to the EV crowd since this company developed one of the most capable electric scooters, the Nami Burn E. The Burn E is still available for purchase, but if you feel like you cannot handle the power of this model and are looking for a bit smaller and tamer transport, then Nami Electric has a brand new Klima e-scooter. Unlike the brand's flagship, the Klima has a more compact tubular frame, weighs just 79 pounds, and is riding on smaller 10 by 3 inch wheels. The Klima is an urban-oriented model that would have no problem climbing hills thanks to a dual-motor powertrain. Good hill climbing abilities, as well as KKE coil shocks with rebound adjustments, make this scooter a good option for mixed-terrain riding. There are two 1,000-watt brushless hub motors hidden inside the wheels. They're managed by advanced sine wave controllers, letting you effortlessly switch between customizable modes and stealthily sprint to 40 mile per hour speeds. As for the battery, the standard modification gets you a 60-volt, 25-amp-hour pack, but there is a 60-volt, 30-amp-hour upgrade available. The standard modification also includes rear lights and turn indicators, two piston brakes with 16mm discs, a bright control display, a horn, and a 2000-lumen headlight. Last year, Obarter e-mobility manufacturer presented one of the most powerful off-road scooters on the market, Obarter X7. This all-terrain ready model is based on an aircraft-grade aluminum alloy frame with special reinforcements that made it suitable for handling payloads up to 275 pounds. Despite its sturdy structure, the frame could be folded in half for the ease of transportation and storage. X7 got a dual-motor powertrain with the peak power output rated at 8 kilowatts. With so much power on tap, experienced riders would be able to push to the top speed of 56 miles per hour and conquer steep hills. The model makes off-roading less challenging thanks to a full suspension system, wheels with grippy 14-inch tires, 160mm dual-piston hydraulic disc brakes in the front, and hydraulic disc brakes with four pistons in the rear. Moreover, there's an electronic brake system for even more stopping power. A 60-volt, 60-amp-hour battery pack comes as a standard option for the X7 scooter. It offers up to 120 miles of continuous riding on a moderate power setting. X7 is amazing, but if you're looking for a lighter and tamer model, there's the Obarter D5. This model is rolling in a set of road tires, has dual-motor powertrain with 5,000-watt output reading and 43-mile-per-hour speed capabilities. The motors are juiced by a 48-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack that's removable for your charging convenience. Every full battery charge gets you between 37 and 75 miles of riding, depending on your riding style. With the Obarter D5, you're getting a large control display, a 5-amp fast charger that tops the battery in 7 hours, front and rear lights with turn signals, hydraulic brakes, and a full suspension system. Mia Dynamics is a Tel Aviv-based company that is developing an all-terrain quad-wheel platform for electric urban mobility vehicles. This platform will have its debut inside an electric stand-up scooter called Mia 4. This scooter will feature a double wishbone suspension and grippy 15-inch tires for ultimate riding comfort and off-road conditions. The model is also equipped with a unique tilting technology for sharper cornering. 
The scooter's powertrain will let you travel at speeds up to 28 miles per hour, while the estimated range on one battery charge would be about 30 miles. Mia 4 tips the scales at 106 pounds and has an ability to switch between 2x4 and 4x4 riding modes, depending on the terrain and road conditions. Further down the line, Mia Dynamics Company is planning on equipping their platform with much more powerful motors and using it to create a high-speed quad cycle. It is to weigh 485 pounds, reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour, and cover distances up to 170 miles per charge. The quad cycle is still on the prototype stage, so detailed specifications and final design elements will be unveiled in the near future. Roadrunner RS5 is one of the latest electric scooter models that were developed to serve a dual purpose, quick transit within the city zones and great climbing abilities in off-road conditions. RS5 is trying to strike a balance between a traditional commuter scooter and a beefed-up dirt model. It weighs 89 pounds and is using a brushless dual-drive powertrain with 2400 watts of combined output. This powertrain draws energy from a 52-volt, 23.2 amp-hour battery pack, good for up to 40 miles of autonomy. The range estimates would depend on the road conditions, speed of travel, and the weight of the rider. Please note that the scooter is rated to carry riders up to 330 pounds at speeds close to 45 miles per hour. Once low on charge, you could easily remove the battery pack from its housing at the bottom of the deck and charge it from a home outlet for 10 hours without a need to carry your scooter inside. Other noteworthy features of RS5 include tubeless air-filled tires, folding design and a robust locking mechanism, a bright display for tracking performance metrics, a dual hydraulic spring suspension, and hydraulic braking system by NUT. Roadrunner RS5 looks like a very well-rounded product with a decent range, too. However, if you want to look for a charging plug less often, there's an RS5 Plus model available. It has all the benefits of the standard RS5, but rocks an upgraded 52-volt, 28-amp-hour battery with range autonomy extended to 50 miles. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.